Lake Mead's levels have risen as planned. After a large amount of water was released from the Glen Canyon Dam. The Glen Canyon Dam forms Lake Powell. The huge Colorado River Reservoir that lies between Arizona and Utah. Following a few months of extremely wet weather seen across the southwestern U.S. The Bureau of Reclamation carried out a high-flow experiment. HFE, between April 24 and 27, releasing up to 39,500 cubic feet per second of water from the Glen Canyon Dam. That's a lot more water than usual, and the water volumes released from the dam ranged from 8,033 to 14,631 cubic feet per second. From the Glen Canyon Dam, the water flowed through the Grand Canyon, and down to Lake Mead, which lies between Nevada and Arizona. It also replenished sandbars and beaches as it went down. As of May 15, Lake Mead's water levels stood at 1,051.67 feet. A steady increase since the high flow experiment was initiated. As of April 26, before the water was released from Glen Canyon Dam, Lake Mead's water levels stood at 1,047.43 feet. Lake Mead was at 1,051 feet this time last year, but instead of gradually rising, it then dipped to extremely low levels. The reservoir eventually reached a record low in July, at around 1,040 feet. Lake Mead has been hit by the mega drought gripping the southwestern U.S.